Dashboard. Everyone in Moodle has their own personal page called their dashboard. On many Moodle sites, you'll be taken to the dashboard once you've logged in. If not, you can get to it by clicking the link in the user menu or in the nav drawer. It's a page where you have an overview of the courses you're enrolled in. On this Moodle Cloud site, teacher Tom is enrolled in only one course. On the learn.moodle.org site, student Sam is enrolled in two courses, one where she has the teacher role and one where she has the student role. There's also a timeline showing activity deadlines. For example, our participant Sam must complete the week one tutorial and tasks in the Learn Moodle Basics course. Sam's dashboard includes a recently accessed items block. So when she comes back another time, she can see where she was last working. You can customise the dashboard by clicking the Customise button and reset it back to the site's default by clicking the Reset button. Blocks may be moved to the centre of the dashboard, as here, and moved below or above other blocks, as here. New blocks may be added by clicking Add Block in the nav drawer. Our video on blocks gives more information. Here, we see the available blocks for the dashboard including Starred Courses and the Recently Accessed Courses block. So let's look at a different Moodle site with a different student to understand these blocks and the course overview further. Here's our student Mark's course overview with progress bars. These are set up by the teacher when they enable activity completion and there is a video on activity completion to explain it. His course overview is displaying all his courses, but he can change this view. Note that if your course start date is in the future, you won't see it in the In Progress section. Courses may be bookmarked or starred from the three dots and then quickly located. We can also hide courses in the same way, and if he needs to find them, he simply filters hidden courses. Courses may be displayed either by their title or by last access. These course images or cards can be added by teachers from the course settings, and instead of this display, there's also the option to see them as a list, as here, or as a summary, as here. If we zoom out, we can see the timeline over on the right, where our student mark can sort items by due date and filter the display by date or courses. The recently accessed courses block displayed here in the central area of the dashboard shows just those courses you were most recently active in, while the starred courses block, also in the centre, displays those courses you've bookmarked or starred in the course overview. Let's go back to our Learn Moodle participant Sam's dashboard one final time. Note that if you have a very small screen, any blocks on the side will appear in the centre underneath other blocks, as here. 